Welcome back to Sister Circle Live, y'all. You ever finish a workout and woke up the next day with a sore back or legs? Well, muscle soreness can be common when you live an active lifestyle. Here to break that all down and how to combat soreness during and before and after workouts is Dr. Uh, Ivan. He is a physical therapist and an author. Please welcome him to Sister Circle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Dr. Ivan. Okay. First of all, I'm sore right now. <laughs> okay. okay. Define soreness and why, despite the fact that you can be a professional athlete to an amateur, why is soreness still going to always be an issue? Uh, soreness is micro damage to the tissue on a cellular level, mm -hmm. but all it is, it's, uh, it's a stimulus that the body's unfamiliar with. Right. And until you adapt to that stimulus, it's going to remain sore. Mm. That's what it is. So the more exposure you have to that same stimulus, mm -hmm. the more adaptive you become and the less sore you become. Ah, okay, well what are some of the workouts that we you know, frequently do that cause the most soreness? Give us some... some uh, well, I, I, I'll say this, um, there's no exercise that inherently causes soreness, mm -hmm. it's typically the dosage. If you do too much, you're gonna get sore. Uh -huh. But novice exercises, they will get sore. The ones, the big culprits, are the big compound movements, okay. like a squat, for okay. example. Okay. So, a squat, you know, a, a good squat would be with your feet shoulder width apart, okay. slightly rotated at the feet, about okay. 20 degrees. Okay. And then you're gonna initiate the movement by bringing your hips back and your knees forward while looking straight. That's a good okay. squat. And then back down and up. And before you go down, you're gonna take a deep breath in and stand. And that's basically a squat. So again, this in and of itself is not bad. It's not gonna cause soreness, but if you do a whole lot and you're unaccustomed to, yeah, that, that, that alarm system is gonna go off in the form of pain. What about what about the, the terrible twos? I know that's one of your terms yeah. when, you, when you speak about different exercises. So uh, once again, it, it, it's not inherent in the exercise. It's a function of programming. Mm -hmm. Terrible twos means too much, too soon, and too fast. Oh. So when you, when you go well beyond the edge of your capacity, mm -hmm. that's when your body starts uh, going off. It, it, you know, exercising a lot is like a smoke alarm mm -hmm. being on top of a stove, mm -hmm. right? When it doesn't take much for that smoke alarm to go off, but mm -hmm. as you continue exercising, it's like moving that smoke detector farther and farther away from the stove. Okay. So it takes more stress okay. for that alarm to go off. Now what's something else? Like a, what other kind of exercise? A lunge, a okay. lunge. So a lunge, you're gonna take a step, and then you're gonna bring that back knee down, keep your torso upright, and then back, that's it. There's different types of lunges, so you could step back to your original position and then alternate with the right. There are different uh, ways you could do this. Uh, your knee could pass the toes, that's a big misconception. That's a quad dominant lunge. And then as if you come- what? If you're as, as long as that heel stays down, that's critical. And then come back. And then if your heel doesn't pass the toe, that's more of a hip dominant lunge, okay. more for your glutes and hamstrings. Oh, so we gotta, we gotta not pass the toe so we can get the booty. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So, and then okay. the last one is a push up. Oh, okay. So uh, there's different ways you can do this. You can do it off your knees, a modified push up. What you wanna make sure is that your arms, this is a traditional push up, that your arms are about 45 degrees away from your torso. That's a perfect push up. And imagine if my fists were on the floor, you would want your chest to now, hit my the, fist. The modified? That's a modified push up right there. Perfect. You got a great form, Selena. I mean, you know, I do a little something. <laughs> You're doing your thing. You're doing your thing. So, Dr. Ivan, I know that soreness sometimes can be linked to nutrient deficiency like magnesium. Yes, Talk yes. to us about that. So, magnesium is uh, the fourth most abundant mineral in our body. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, many Americans, it's estimated seven out of 10 Americans aren't getting enough magnesium. Yes. And magnesium is associated with a host of problems from chronic pain to headaches, PMS, headaches, migraines. anxiety, fibromyalgia. So, uh, magnesium is a nice way to combat soreness. But you have a new product. That's right. That's right. That I use myself, actually, and I used it on my son KJ yesterday. That's how safe, safe it is. It's called Magnificent. That's right. Talk to us about Magnificent really quickly and how you came to bring this product into fruition. So I, I've been using uh, this formulation for over 10 years. I mm -hmm. happen to know the chemist, and we put together our own blend with my own proprietary blend of botanicals mm -hmm. and magnesium sulfate, um, and it's quickly evolved into something that 
uh, many people are knowing about. It works, it, it absorbs, works. and that's what makes a difference. My, my main goal as a professional, as a rehabilitationist, mm -hmm. is to fight that opioid epidemic. And people are getting addicted yes. to pharmaceuticals, and it's a affecting lives and we're spending billions of dollars every year so my goal is really to uh, address this by using a non-pharmaceutical natural substance well I love it and my whole family uses it but what can we what can we do after an after an intense workout what is the best recovery workout for that so you know there are a lot of misconceptions you know there's thoughts about stretching and it, th those things don't work you want anything that's going to promote blood flow okay. so light exercise light is great light cardio okay. sitting in the sauna would be I good love this. yeah getting a massage room. getting a massage massage okay. yeah all these things are good but Motion is lotion. The more you move, mm. the better you are. Because okay. when you're moving, particularly when you're sore, what's happening is that you're desensitizing your body to this stress, to this soreness. Mm -hmm. And so you're able to tolerate it more. Mm. So moving is essential. Especially, moving is yeah, essential. Yeah, just in a light way. Just take it easy. Okay, well, Dr. Ivan, I love when you come down to the circle. And I love your shirt.